Okay. International law does not regard you as Cam people of Cameroonian nationality. This must be shocking to you. <laughs> From where 1st of January 1960, the international law recognizes the inhabitants of La Republique de Cameroon as people of Cameroonian nationality. There can be no Cameroonian nationality outside that La Republic du Cameroon. Please take very great note of it. If you decide to be using Cameroonian nationality as a flag of convenience, it is because you decide to use it as a flag of convenience. But international law does not regard you as Cameroonians. And the Treaty of Fumban, Article 1, goes to spell it out. It states, Nationals of the Federated States shall become Cameroonian citizens and shall possess Cameroonian nationality. This means when your country which was then called United Nations Trust Territory of Southern Cameroon under United Kingdom administration. Can you listen? That's how to describe a country. Is that the name of a country? Is that the name of a country? United Nations Trust Territory of Southern Cameroon under United Kingdom administration. That is a whole definition of an area. It's not the name of a country. We are coming to why you are not considered as Cameroonians. This identification by description only determines that you are not. It says that when your country accepts to become a federated state in the Federal Republic of Cameroon, then you acquire the right to become Cameroonian citizens and have Cameroonian nationality. But is your country now a federated state in Federal Republic of Cameroon? Is there a Federal Republic of Cameroon? Is there a Federal Republic of Cameroon? So you acquired Cameroonian nationality only by treaty. And once that treaty is abrogated, you are no longer Cameroonian. That's only logical, isn't it? That, then what are you? Eventually, the brilliant scholar came and decided to proclaim the secession law 84 stroke 001 of the 4th of February 1984 by which he formalized the cessation of what was East Cameroon into La Republique du Cameroon. By that cessation, as you must have heard, the last speaker, it opened the way. You see, God moves in a very mysterious way. As long as Ambazonia was in this dubious thing of United Republic of Cameroon, there was a fiction of unity ex existing, even though in international law it had collapsed. There may be some of you who have done political science. This is the principle of extinction and creation of states. Let's start it over. From the moment uh, Southern Cameroon, as it was called, as a state, Join the Republic du Cameroon in forming the Federal Republic of Cameroon under international law. The two states are extinct and the new state created is created. That is to say, there is a creation of a new state and an extinction of the two states that are created. Now, when the treaty that has brought this together collapses, as it did, 
the Federal Republic of Cameroon becomes extinct. That state is extinct. And automatically and simultaneously, with that extinction, the original states are resuscitated. These are the principles of international law concerning creation and extinction of states. Recently, Paul Obia carried a catechism lesson in Boya. He told the people, I am a Cameroonian. And the people shouted after him, I am a Cameroonian. I was born a Cameroonian. The people shouted after him, I was born a Cameroonian. And I will ever remain a Cameroonian. The people shouted, I will ever remain a Cameroonian. Paul Bia did law in Paris. He knows that under international law, you and myself, Amazonians, are not Cameroonians. And the treaty that gave you Cameroonian nationality has been abrogated. So it was necessary for him to instill into your subconscious the nationality of Cameroonian in order to enable you to enable him to rule a country as a colony under the pretext that it is part of Cameroon. Why did he not carry that catechism in the other side? Why didn't he go to Ebolua and say, I am a Cameroonian or Je suis Cameroonien? Let us hear. Because the people are Cameroonians under international law. But you who are not Cameroonians must be made to believe that you are Cameroonians and you are believing that you are Cameroonians and as a result, you are even participating in the institutions of the Republic of Cameroon as if you are like what you are is that Cameroon Ultra Mayor, Cameroon overseas. I mean, they themselves call you Cameroon Ultra Mongo. That's what they call you. Why must your own Cameroon be qualified? It is because you are not Cameroonians. And the moment you accept that you are not Cameroonians and decide that you must research your own identity, then we have started a fight. And until then, it's a total waste of time to complain and complain and complain because nobody outside is going to come and want to bother about you. If you say you are a minority, there's no country without minority. The United States has several minorities. Nobody can come here and start talking about the United States minority. Quebec is a minority. Can United Nations can interfere then? There is no country without minority. But we are not dealing with a minority problem. Article 76 of the UN Charter limits the trusteeship system to only two alternatives for a state. You either develop the state to self-government or to independence. This is our story. The UN is under an obligation, a legal obligation, not a moral one, to implement that. We had a system which was the only system where a government could conduct an election and be defeated by the opposition. Dr. Indele conducted an election that was defeated by Foncha from the opposition. Nowhere has it happened in Africa. Nowhere. To show you that the system was thorough. It was typically British style. Now, they tell us that we vote, they voted in a referendum in, uh, on the 20th May to say that we should be uh, ruled from Yaoundé. And who are you? You go about saying, well, our uh, 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 elders voted in a referendum that we should be ruled as a colony. Where have you? Have intelligent human beings, have you attained that level of political development, volunteered that a country that was less educated in pol politically, a country of bandits, should come and rule them voluntarily they ask for it to come wipe away their house of chiefs house of parliament house of assembly and crush every other thing there and uh, you believe that that is what your people did at the time of that plebiscite vote or what you call it referendum vote it was very interesting to have to see what happened in the college of arts in, in uh, Yaoundé, I mean uh, Bambili, because as always, students are radicals. They make sure 
There were two papers, two papers. One was white, one was black. The black men, no. The white men, yes, yes. And by the time they finished, when they came to pick up the things, the whites were all full on the ground, and inside the box was all black. But what were the results of family? 100% in favor. That is a gigantic fraud, which Ahijo used and said the people had accepted that I should run their lives for them. But we are not even interested in that. Because the question, as my brother put to you here, is this. Was a referendum mentioned in the Treaty of Fumba as a mode of modifying that treaty? If the answer is yes, then we are condemned to be where we are. If the answer is no, then we have a right to revolt against an arbitrary government. It is a government that is illegal, and it is illegal to obey an illegal government. That is the cause which God has set us for. And we are not stepping one step back. We have accepted death. And I don't see what else we have before us. Because we are tired of being tossed around. The country and the territory from which you come is rich in every aspect. <clears throat> Natural and human resources. That if we can be united, if we understand the cause, there is no question of who is boss and who is follower. And we have a people who are willing as you must have noticed, unarmed, when I was imprisoned and locked up in, in a DMA, students came out bare-fisted to face the gendarmes. They burnt edifices. In Bangla alone, they raised down the whole uh, gendarme barrack, with, with, uh, they, they raised it with fire. Now, you are young men, and time has come for you people to pick up the gun and pursue this fight to a logical conclusion. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, you heard it. This is, I would say that Barrister Fon, Barrister Goji Dinka lived his days, his youthful days as a genius of his time. Did you hear the intricacies, the angle he tackled the legal argument? That was in the 90s, 30 years ago, at least 30 years. Let me let me get back. Let me let me get back. Um, let me bring the legal minds here. Huh? Let me react. You're, you're trying to say something, Barisafu? Yes. I listened to my venerated most senior colleague, but I beg, to, I beg to differ, there was no treaty signed in Fumban. There was no, no, he, no, no, he was, he was rubbishing whatever was done in Fumban. No, 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 no. He talked no. about a treaty no. that was signed in Fumban that was violated. There was no such yeah, yeah. treaty. Well, we're going to get into that argument, maybe towards the end. Let's get Barista. Okay, Mara Ma Ma I just want to make that clear so that we understand that there was no yes. yes, thank you very much, Barista. Thank you very much. You know, Amazonian history is something that we are learning from every day. We get the spices coming out from the juicy corners, and at the end of the day, we all get it right. So, uh, Barista, it, you have the floor. You were to talk about to complete your session. Then, Mara, Shea, you, uh, you just came out of your chair and you are, you are now feeling almost your screen. Move a little bit backward so that we can have you properly scared. Amazing. You are good now. Okay. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, Pari, uh, Gojidinka cannot be described as was a genius. No, 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 no. Gojidinka 
was and is still a genius. Yes. I don't agree with the commas and the dots at the T. What he said then is still as useful now as it was at the time he made the speech 30 years ago. So he was and is still a genius. We just yeah. have that there. Uh, there are a few things that he said that are not important. For example, the black ballot and other nonsense. That is not necessary for now.